and they're actually recording their first CD down here too. So I know they're excited to, to have that recording done. So first off, let's go down the row and everybody introduce themselves. Hi, my name is uh, Whitney Rencounter. Uh, everybody knows me as Wit, and I'm the head singer of the Standing Horse Drum Group. And uh, we're very excited to be here, but I'll, I'll save the rest of that for the rest of the interview, and I'll go ahead and pass the mic down. Uh, hello, my name is Dave Lonock. Um, hi. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Grant Weston. My name is Tiffany Weston, and this is Grayson Weston. This is Sophia. I'm Jesse, and this is Jaylee down here. <laughs> Run, Connor. <laughs> I'm Damon. Hello, I'm Jenna Lee Ricks, and this is Dean Scala Ricks. Hello, my name is Aaron, taking a life. Hi, I'm Jared Weston. All right, I want to start with. It. You got here from doing the powwow idol. You know, when let's see how that was set a long time ago that you entered. Did you guys ever think that you'd win this thing? You know, what, what was kind of your thoughts when you entered? Well, actually, um, it'd be this the first weekend in May uh, was our actual first year, uh, solid, you know, being together as a drum group. And so it was right after that, around that time, that we actually heard of powwow idol. Uh, we go to powwows.com and, and, you know, look at the forums and, and check everything out. It's kind of the, uh, I guess you could say, the online world for all of the powwow people. And, and so for us, uh, we saw this powwow idol. And just being together in May, it really didn't give us a lot of time to even think about it. And so that winning powwow idol was the last thing, I think, on all of our minds. Uh, we all just thought about it and we all were interested in entering, entering this competition because it was to find um, the, an, any unsigned um, drum group and in some cases you know a lot of people say the best unsigned and for us uh, I guess we didn't think of ourselves that way because we can kind of come from humble beginnings um, you know being raised uh, you know the traditional way you know my grandfather taught me you know about the being humble as a singer and so that wasn't something that we really um, thought could happen and then obviously um, it came together right and and just everything fell together for us and we're we're very excited that a lot of people came together to vote for us and you know we just especially want to thank everyone that voted for us uh, we're very excited for for that opportunity uh, and so in that case, uh, we know we didn't expect to win it. Yeah. And I know a lot of things have been happening for you guys here in the last few, just few weeks too. Uh, you know, tell us a little bit about some of the news that has ha kind of happened for you. Yeah. Well, recently, um, there's a, a company from back on the Pine Ridge reservation called, uh, Tonka Bar and it, it won a national, um, award that it takes a lot of, um, companies many years to achieve and um, actually just to show you guys here's a box of to the Tonka bars and with this we have agreed um, to promote Tonka bars and to basically they named us the 2008 uh, powwow ambassadors um, and, and so that that award is what we carry now and so we're, we're very excited we're almost sold out of the our first case um, I know we'll probably sell out tonight and then, you know, we're going to continue it there for the full year. Um, so obviously Powell Idol has really brought us a lot um, of, of news throughout the newspapers and, and local media outlets as, as well as nationally. Um, and so there's it, a lot of things have come along with that. All right, now we're getting ready to start Powell, the second Powell Idol. And so there's a lot of drum groups like you guys were last May that are looking at this thing, maybe starting to do their first recording. Any advice for these for these drum groups? You know, what would what would you suggest? What kind of rec recordings to send out to us? Or yeah, you know, and one of the things obviously that that drum groups um, that enter into this competition is to go into this um, with the open mind. Uh, for us, a lot of times, one of the things I think that will help you that we should have done is um, take a look at the actual songs that are needed sneak up uh, you know flag song all the songs that are needed and if you can record them with with your full crew um, ahead of time because a lot of times I remember one time uh, 
we had to travel about 300 miles and then only about five of us met up to record one song then travel back that same night and send it in it was almost late so you know for those of you that are entering into the competition basically um, if you can get your recordings together faster that would be the best um, as far as everything else um, make sure you have you know everyone together and on the same page and I think you'll be okay all right so the rest of the summer and this fall where are you guys gonna be where are you gonna be traveling where can we see you uh, for the rest of the summer, I, I think you could see us we, we, like definitely around um, the Plains areas here in South Dakota, um, you know, probably maybe some Montana, Minnesota. But we'd like to travel out to Idaho, um, go to the West Coast, um, and maybe even to, into Canada. We're talking about going up to uh, be one of the invited drums up to Sioux Valley. So we're, we're kind of looking at our options. But as far as promoting um you know we, we feel like as far as you can travel um it, it brings a lot to you so uh we'd like to definitely travel as much as we can all right who who's going on the cruise have you decided who's going that was the other prize you got oh yeah yeah we, we talked to uh, the powwow cruise uh administrators and and right now we're trying to take as much as we can uh we're, we're not going to limit anyone because i know uh with the power idol you receive a uh i believe it's like you get like two free rooms so right now we're we're i think it's next september we're going to go but we're going to try to raise money so that everybody can go uh, because we know it'll be a, a fun trip so i guess everybody <laughs> oh, good deal that's awesome all right well let's talk a little bit about your first cd you've been recording all weekend what kind of songs are you, are you uh, have been have you recorded so far um have you kind of got an idea of what's going to be on the cd yeah the for the cd um we've we have one of the group members that isn't here, um, Luke Cloud. He's one of the other head singers of the drum group. Um, you know, he's a very talented um, song maker, and he's re he's made a lot of the songs on this first CD. And we've gotten a lot of good feedback from a lot of the dancers and a lot of other singers saying how much they enjoy our songs. Um, and and we feel like Luke has a lot of that talent. And so speaking on behalf of Luke. Um, you know, I, I myself um, feel that he's one of the most talented um, young song makers um, in, you know, in Indian country. And so we're really excited, and I think everyone's going to be excited to hear the songs that we have on this CD. Some of the songs were, were from Power Idol, um, some of the entries. So you guys will be excited to hear those um, recorded live here at Redder. So um, all together, I think it's going to be a, a very good uh, CD with a lot of good songs on it. All right. All right, well... Um We'll send the mic down one more time, and if, if you want to say anything to everybody out there at powwows.com, all your fans that are waiting for this first CD and ready to see you somewhere else, you just... Okay. Well, um, I just have some acknowledgments to make. Um, you know, I'd like to acknowledge uh, powwows.com uh, for giving us this opportunity to enter into this competition. Um, it really for us has brought a lot um, of opportunities and I know it will continue to do that. We'd like, especially like to thank all the powwows.com um, members, um, everyone that's, that logs on and, and make, you know, views the forums. Uh, we appreciate the, the support we receive from powwows.com and also Drumhop Productions um, who also sponsored this Powwow Idol. We, we can't thank you enough. Uh, but as far as myself, um, I come from the, the Crow Creek Sioux Tribe right here in central South Dakota, uh, you know, and, and so that's kind of where I'm from. So maybe as we go down, we can tell everybody where we're from and, and maybe a little bit about, um, you know, who we represent. Uh, <clears throat> uh, well, I guess I want to thank all the people who supported us along the way and, and all the people who continue to support us, uh, our families, definitely. You know, the family's played a huge uh, role in, uh, in uh, everything we do as a drum group. So I want to acknowledge all our families, especially uh, in my case, my mother and father, and my three sisters, and my niece, who really wanted to come to this powwow, and uh, you know, she didn't get a chance to make it. And so I just want to acknowledge all the families that we have that have supported us through all this. And... Um, Let's see, I'm, like I said, I'm David Lonauk, and I'm from Pine Ridge Indian Reservation, uh, Oglala, Lakota Sioux, and so that's about it. Um, I'm from the, also the Oglala Sioux Tribe in South Dakota, and I just wanted to say thanks for everyone for voting. Uh, I know we had a, a lot of voters uh, on internet from different places all over the world, too. We kind of got hold of... Uh, a lot of our relatives from uh, 
all over so they got on and voted and we wanted to say thanks and uh, uh, some way we're to give back to the people we wanted to um, sing our best and every time we set up or if we're gonna sing any type of songs we try to do our best and <clears throat> we also have a lot of uh, children with us and a lot of our families um, so when we go around you know we do our best to take care of everybody and make sure we're a good tight family and take care of each other so in a way we do that to represent all of our nations and all of the people out there who you know like the songs and so but I want to say that and uh, just thanks for everyone for voting um, I just like to thank um, everyone that voted uh, my name is Tiffany Weston I'm from Rapid City um, I'm a member of the system Lofton Sioux tribe um, I come from the Phelps family. Um, I would just like to especially thank um, Whitney. He did a lot of work and um, put a lot of time and effort into being on Powwow Idol and did a lot of the the work and getting songs put in and all that other stuff. So um, i just like to thank him. I just wanted to say also thank you to all the voters on Powas.com. Um, I'm from the Standing Rock Nation. I'm Hunkapapa Lakota. I want to say hi to my parents and whoever's watching back home. And also give a shout out to um, the Wind Eagle Singers, an awesome drum group, um, the runner-ups of Powell Idols. Um, I hope they can get back in the contest again and give it another try. Um, and say hi to everyone out there. Bye. <laughs> Hello. I'd like to thank everybody who voted, uh, everybody who supported us, everybody who sing with, who we started with, and who we end up with now, and my mom and dad. And um, I'd like to thank, um, thank God. Hey, uh, I'd like to thank uh, everybody who voted for us and who's going to buy the CD. Um, I want to give thanks to my family and, uh, you know, we went through some hard times, you know, getting here and letting me to be here and everything. Um, I'd like to thank my uh, partner and my new newborn son and my other son and uh, just like to say thanks. All right, well, thanks so much for you taking the time to come in and talk with everybody at powwows.com. Again, congratulations on the win. I hope you have a good time here at Red Earth and, and on the cruise. And uh, we'll be looking forward to that CD and talking to you in the future. Thanks, everybody. Need all kinds of energy.
Man, that, that are, their arena is so tiny. Um, yeah, this thing has so many seats. This makes it, I mean, theirs makes it look like it's really packed out. Yeah. You know? And this, you know, everybody's spread out. But, oh, I'm sure they get more. They, get, I mean, they, they say they, they claim to get 150,000 people. Hmm. That's a lot. That's a lot. They say they're moving up to a bigger venue. I heard that today. Make sure I got you on. Can't see much of me, but that's good. All right, we're here at Red Earth again, and as usual, we've stopped by to talk to our good friend Arville. We always look forward to seeing him here and uh, finding out what kind of new music he's got and uh, where he's been lately. So, you want to tell us um, what you've been doing here at Red Earth? Thank you, David. Well, I just finished uh, my uh, early afternoon show with uh, my band on stage here. I've got another show later up coming on at six, but. Uh, uh, we played yesterday outside across the street at the uh, amphitheater. Beautiful place. It, it would be more beautiful at night, though, because it was pretty hot. <laughs> I lost a few pounds over there, I'm a, certain. But we've been uh, having a great tour. We just came up from uh, a flute festival in Murfreesboro, Arkansas. Uh, before that, we left Nashville, where I've been working on uh, some recordings. I'm working on two new CDs. Uh, they're opposite ends of the musical spectrum. One is a classical piece of music. It's a concerto for violin and Native American flute called the Tribal Music Suite. The other is a fiddle tune CD called Métis Fiddle Magic, and it's Métis Indian fiddle music from Canada, as well as some of my original uh, fiddle music. So uh, I'm really, with the classical music, I'm going back to my roots, which uh, this piece began, uh, I began composing this piece in 1973, so it's come a full circle, finally getting the full orchestra on it, and it's uh, sounding great. I'm hoping to have it out by the fall. and. Uh, do some touring of the symphony orchestra circuit as a uh, cultural uh, pops kind of program for them because it will involve the powwow drum and singers and me on the violin and flute and uh, it's, it's a great it's going to be a great uh, it's, it's a life defining work for me so those are the two big things that I'm working on we leave here and we go to the Zion Flute Festival uh, we leave there we go to Colorado and then on to Yellowstone Park I'll be performing at the Yellowstone Lodge or the Old Faithful Lodge for a week. Um, gone down to uh, Omaha, Nebraska for, for, for more shows and I keep having to fly back to Nashville and, <laughs> and do my recording and so it's all working out. I, I, I received a $7,500 grant for uh, the recording to help me finish the recording from the uh, Native American Grant Association that uh, helps composers raise funds to to further their career so I'm really lucky that way and I've spent thousands already on this recording and it's really helping me to, to finish it up now so uh, things are going well I have a, a band in Phoenix and a band in Nashville and I'm kind of putting bands together around the country uh, because of the cost of travel and, and, and uh, airline tickets and all it's, it's going to be better for me to have some uh, local bands in, in areas where I go, so uh, that's kind of my plan. My, my new direction is called Arvel Bird, along with um, um, Many Tribes, One Fire. Check that's the check concept the I'm going with now. And, uh, microphone check, one, two. We're very optimistic about the future. Yeah, it's an interesting point you bring up. Um, I want to get back to your music in a second, but um, on powwows.com, there's been a lot of discussion about how gas prices are affecting dancers. You know, we don't think about some of these artists that are traveling around. You know, and, and how is it affecting kind of your your touring and and uh, your 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 livelihood? We uh, we don't dwell on it personally because what we put out is the idea that, that there, there is enough money to go around, that we have enough money to do our traveling, that it's built into our budget, and uh, uh, 
and it's working for us. So I don't know. Uh, the, the idea of having the bands and in, in, in locations is really the only only thing that we've adjusted to uh, in terms of that. Uh, we, we just we just know personally that the money's going to be there for us. There's the, still the, the demand for my music and my shows, and so we don't. Uh, because I think if you uh, person tends to dwell on, oh God, the guy's prices are so high, and I don't have enough money for this, and then they focus on that, and that's what they get more of. We want to focus on having enough money, having enough fuel to get where we need, and get more of that. So that's what I encourage the listeners to, to think about, too, is whatever you focus on is going to expand. So be careful what you think about. <laughs> that's very good advice. Very good. And, you know, these are trying times, so it's always good to stay positive. Um, all right, well, tell us more about it. It's interesting that you're putting out a classical piece. So for uh, all the fans you know, that have listened to your previous works, what kind of things, is this going to be something that appeals to your fans, or is it going to be something that may be an acquired taste? Well, that's a good question. Um, it's a really, it's a, a eight movements to this, this symphony, <clears throat> and it's a story. It's the story of a young man's life who is born into a mixed cultured society that is a tribal society. He learns the, uh, the songs and the customs of his tribe. And then at an early age, he decides to leave and go out and experience the world. And he goes out and re experiences prejudice and rejection in other cultures. And then he's conscripted into a war. And then he fights the war and is wounded in battle and escapes the battle before he's killed. Then he finds healing through love and, and peace and tranquility uh, through water. Uh, then he d does find other cultures that accept him because of his music. He finds that the music becomes the, uh, um, the the common ground for him to communicate with other cultures, and and then he uh, is uh, returns to his his tribe and brings the medicine that he's learned through his life's travels back, and he's accepted back into his tribe, and they celebrate his life, and he leaves, uh, dies the same way he was born, and so it's it's interesting music. It's um, it's got the powwow drum and singers, the native flutes and the violin, and it's got the music of both the, the Celtic culture and the Native American culture uh, with the background of classical instruments of the, the cellos and the bass and the woodwinds and horns bringing the punch to the music. So. I can't see how anybody would not like it. <laughs> well, I've always been impressed just listening to your music that you, it's always, um, for me, I enjoy listening to it because you bring something, a unique mix to the native sound. It's, it's you know, um, of course I love powwow music and I listen to that a lot, but when you listen to something, you know, with the fiddle mixed with some traditional native sounds, it is an interesting mix and it provides something, you know, different from a lot of the stuff that's out there. Um, so yeah, I th I th now I'm really curious to see what it's going to sound like with these mix of uh, some other instruments, the cellos and everything. Um, I, I was, you know, grew up taking years of classical piano, so it'll be. I'll, I'll, I'm looking forward to it. That'll be a neat, uh, interesting thing to listen to. Um, when can we expect this? Well, I'm expecting to have it out by the fall. Okay. I've got a session booked in Nashville on in June and July and August, and then then the mixing's going to start and mastering and the whole development of the album cover and the story is going to be inside the album cover. It's a very visual piece of music. You know, I had a, when I wrote the song, I was receiving the vision of the story. And that's how I remembered the music was by, by watching the, it was like watching a movie in my mind and the, the violin was playing the background music to it. So it, it's a very visual uh, piece of music for me and the audience, the listeners take their own vision when they hear it. So. I'm looking forward to having it out. Well, good deal. Well, again, I appreciate you sitting down and talking with us again. Anything else you want to tell everybody? Where, uh, you know, anything else going on with you before we leave? Wow. <laughs> I can't think of anything else. Just uh, I want everybody to stay positive and um, keep thinking the best, and the best will come to you. All right. Well, thank you so much. Look forward to seeing you somewhere down the trail, I'm sure. All right. Blessings. Thanks.
everybody, including money bags. Beso, beso bags, yeah. We have a lot of lost and found items up here on the table. We got a uh, beaded medallion choker. There's a SpongeBob backpack camera. No beaded earrings, though. All right. We found a little boot. Little boot. How do you think anybody has cameras anymore? All Indians use are just a Walmart disposable. All right. We found another um, little booth here with some wonderful art and looks like actually uh, an award winner this weekend. So we want to stop by. If you could tell us um, a little bit about yourself and your art. Okay. I'm Mary Beth Nelson. I'm Cherokee. I live in Fort Gibson, Oklahoma. Um, I do mostly Native American painting and sculpting and a lot of wildlife also. And uh, is this your first time here at Red Earth? Or? No, this is my third. Third year? Okay. Um, and looks like you did place this year? Is that? Not here, though. No, not here. Okay. <laughs> no I did at the Trelatier Show in Tahlequah. Okay, great. Great. All right. And if uh, if got some people out there that are interested in your artwork, where can we go to learn more about it? Um, the best place to look at the pictures um, it's probably on my MySpace, and it's myspace.com slash M as in Mary, B as in Beth, Nelson, and then the number two. So MB Nelson 2. All right. Well, thank you very much. Good luck. Uh, the art here in Red Earth, we found a couple of here in Red Earth. We yeah, we'll <laughs> All right, walking around the uh, the art here in Red Earth, we found a couple of friends here. We want to stop by and say a quick hello and talk a little bit about their booth here. All right, walking around the uh, the art here in Red Earth, we found a couple of friends here. We wanted to stop by and say a quick hello and talk a little bit about their booth here. Hi, Paul. I'm Sharon Atone Harjo from Oklahoma City. Brian Fraker from Livingston, Montana. All right. Well, Sharon, tell us a little bit about what all you have here in your booth this weekend. <laughs> okay. Over here we have uh, this is uh, this is my artwork here. Hold it. This is my artwork here. I do what they call edger style art. For 32 years I taught in public school. I was art teacher. So now I'm getting to do what I really, really like. Not that I didn't like teaching, but I do this to, uh, as part of my livelihood these days, as well as traveling with my daughter, Tani Aton Harjo, who dances and makes traditional clothes and so forth. But this is our booth here at Red Earth, and Tani and I have been a part of this since the beginning of it. Well, actually I have, because she wasn't born when it first started a long time ago. But um, this is my booth and hers, and we are sharing. And while she gets to do dance, I get to watch the booth. And I get to visit with people like Brian Fraker and anyone else that comes by. It's a lot of fun. Well, Brian, we see you at all the powwows, and you're always taking pictures. You want to tell us a little bit about yourself and, and your work? I shoot a few pictures for magazine Whispering Winds and Indian Country Today, and just mostly for just give to the people who are at the powwows that I know. It's a good crowd to hang with and it's fun. Meet all kinds of interesting people. It's just a good outfit. All right, and if we want to find out more about your artwork and your photos, is there any place we can go? I, I know you're always on Whispering Wind and, and Indian Country Today. Uh, do you have a website where we can see more about yours? 
I do, but I don't even remember my website. <laughs> I forget. No, uh, no, really, I don't. I don't remember. <laughs> but I'll see you at the Powell House, okay? Yeah. I see Paul here and there, but it'll be there. <laughs> we'll, we'll find the link. We'll ask Tawny, and we'll get it up on there. Um, and uh, if, if anybody doesn't know the story because of Tawny and Sharon, th we're, this is why we're here at Red Earth. So it's always great to stop by and say thank you every year. She, they're the ones that came up with the whole idea to come here and broadcast. And now look where we are now. So I want to say thanks and good running into y'all. Thanks. Space online, mytribalspace.com. Connect with friends, join online groups, post blogs, and upload photos. Create your profile today on www.mytribalspace.com. Looking for Scissor Tales MySpace profile? Want to promote your MySpace profile or your Facebook account? Indian411.com is the site for you. Indian411.com allows you to search for profiles of natives on Facebook, My Tribal Space, MySpace, and other social sites. And list your information so people can find you. www.ndn411.com NativeGatherings.com is your calendar for all Native events. Sports, concerts, art exhibits, powwows, conferences, workshops, gourd dances, and more. Find events in your area at www.NativeGatherings.com. Tune in to the latest online radio from powwows.com, Native Music Source Radio. Hundreds of songs from artists such as Arville Bird, Murray Porter, and more. Listen to flute, traditional, hip-hop, rock, and all types of Native music. Make dedications, browse the playlist, listen to your 24-7 free online Native station by visiting radio.nativemusicsource.com. Powwow all the time. Powwow Radio, your 24-7 free online radio station. 
make requests, send dedication, and listen to over 1,200 songs from groups such as Midnight Express, Kozad, Bear Creek, Whitefish Bay, Scissor Tail, and Southern Boys. Tune in now at radio.powwows.com. <laughs> Missing the moral at. Come around. 